welcome to sundar's lecture and uh, this is actually lecture number 6 and in the last lecture we have seen resistors connected in parallel and what is the formula for resistor connected in parallel that means r1 plus r2 plus r3 and it will be goes on to rn if n number of resistors are connected here and we have seen this topic resistors connected in series and what is the effective or equivalent resistance if resistors are connected in series then that will be 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 and it will be goes on to 1 by r right and we have seen uh, this two in the last class what is this actually how will you find if the resistors are connected in series or the resistors are connected in parallel you see this one uh, this r1 and r2 one end will be connected but other ends will be connected to somewhere else in the circuit if the scenario is like this then these two resistors are connected in series and if resistors are connected like this which means both the ends were connected to each other then we will call these types of connections as parallel connections okay fine let us we take now numerical problems which means you see this is actually lecture number 6 let us we take a uh, numerical problems numerical problems okay first we will take one problem okay fine now you see we have taken a problem and we need to find what is rab we need to find what is rab which means this is point a and this is point b between these two points there are three resistors are connected and we are asked to find what is the effective resistance between these two points effective resistance or um, resistance between two ends anything anything it may be fine we need to find what is the value of this rab right now you see first you consider these two resistors how these two resistors are connected these two resistors you see one end is connected here and another end is connected somewhere else this this 2 ohms resistor is connected to somewhere else and this 3 ohms resistor is connected to a uh, 4 ohms resistor one in which means these two resistors are connected in series right one end will be connected and another end will be connected somewhere else in the circuit so how i can draw this diagram now so if these two are connected in series then what happens you have to add these two that's all that is what we have found as a formula right so uh, so we we will have this one resistor and you have to keep this 4 ohms resistor as it is you should not touch this 4 ohms resistor and this is point a and this is point b and you should not change these two also so if you if if you add these two what you will get 5 ohms which means what what we have found rs is equal to this i have consider only two resistors that is r1 plus r2 then that will be 2 plus 3 rs will be 5 ohms for our understanding that's all i have written this for our understanding it is not at all necessary if these two are connected in series then directly you put 5 then you consider these two resistors now again one end is connected to somewhere else between this is a this is point b these two resistors are connected again in series right so if these two are connected in series what is this uh, effective resistance i can consider i can draw one one resistor right this is point a and this is point b and what is this if you if you if you add these two what you will get directly 9 ohms that's all you see we have found the value what is r you have to bring to a single resistor that's all so rab will be 9 ohms so this is the effective resistance between two ends effective resistance that means between these two point we will have 9 ohms here that's all this is one type of problem and we will take another problem and you see we have taken a problem like this the same resistors the same three resistors connected in parallel now so uh, uh, if these three are connected in parallel which how will you say that that these three are connected in parallel you see first you 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 don't see all the resistors in a single stack because if you are a beginner then you see take first two resistor simplify that then you take another two resistor and then you simplify if you are a well versed person then you can consider all three resistors are in parallel that will come by practice anyhow let us consider these two resistors you see these two resistors two ends were connected right then these two are connected in parallel and you see that also that one end is also connected to four four ohms resistor 
then how can you say all these resistors are connected in parallel right if all three resistors are connected in parallel what is the formula we have uh, uh, we have seen which means 1 by rp will be equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 because we have only three resistor i am writing like this so 1 by rp will be equal to what 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 this is how we will get the value right then if you simplify this and you bring rp one side so you will get rp that means that one resistor will come with, be, between these two point rp value will come here so this is point which means you you take this is point a and this is point b and this is point a and this will be point b right now what is the uh, final value of this value and if i simplify this value i am getting rp is equal to 0. 0.923 ohms right and that is nothing but it will come here that means 0. 0.923 ohms which means the final r a b value which is nothing but 0. 0.923 ohms right so this is the final value and you come here now what is that this is 2 ohms 3 ohms 4 ohms connected in series same 2 ohms 3 ohms 4 ohms is connected in parallel and now you see here if these three resistance are connected in series then effective resistance between point a and point b is increased to 9 ohms if i don't have 9 ohms i just want to i have only 2 ohms 3 ohms and 4 ohms then i can connect all these three in series to get effective 9 ohms resistance which means this point between point a and point b i will get 9 ohms if the same resistors are connected in parallel in such a way like this the diagram shown here you see the effective resistance is reduced to 0 0.923 ohms if i do, if i really need 0 0.9 ohms but i have only 2 3 ohms 2 3 and 4 ohms resistor then what i can do then i can connect it, connect all three resistors in parallel so the point to be noted if you connect resistors in series the effective resistance will be increased if you connect same resistors as parallel in parallel then the effective resistance will be reduced so that is the point you have to understand anyhow uh, we will take some more problems to get to get a clarity okay fine uh, we have taken some more complicated problem so uh, this value i have not written this is one ohms okay fine now you see we have taken a problem now we need to find what is the effective resistance between these two points between these two points i have to bring a, i have to solve the circuit to bring a single resistor you you understand like that okay not effective resistance or resistance between a b i need to simplify this circuit to get a single resistor fine you can start from any any point you see if you see anything like this one branch two branch three branch you you simplify this one this part first then you simplify this part again and you simplify this one and you get all three resistors connected in parallel then you simplify that then you will get a single resistor that that will be connected to this one ohms resistor in series like that anyway so you see i i will solve uh, these three first of all these three are connected in parallel right so if if it is connected in parallel then what is the formula 1 by rp okay fine i will take a different color 1 by rp will be equal to i will write now directly 1 by 4 ohms plus 1 by 4 ohms plus 1 by 3 ohms you see these three are connected in parallel 4 4 and 3 i have written like that so what i will get what i will get if i simplify this this rp which is nothing but i am getting 1.2 ohms if i simplify i will get rp which means this whole term becomes 1.2 ohms resistor i just i will mark here this whole term this whole term what happens to this this is nothing but effective resistance will be 1.2 2 ohms now you see these two resistor i don't need to write formula anymore I, it is not necessary 
how these two are connected one end is connected other two ends are connected to somewhere else in the circuit no problem then i can consider these two are connected in series and if it is series then you directly add these two what you will get what you will get if you add these two you will get what 11 ohms i don't need to write right write this one because directly you know this right then if these two which means two ohms and this is a single resistor now right well, okay fine now i will anyhow i will draw the diagram so that you will easily understand so this will be one 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 thing and you see this two ohms is already there and this is what we have found and here we have found a single resistor and here already there is a single resistor right so this point will be this point will be a and this point will be b and this is 1 ohms this is 2 ohms this is what 1.2 ohms right then this is what 11 ohms this is what 7 ohms then how these two are connected now these two are connected in series one end is connected another two ends are some connected somewhere else in the circuit so what i can do now simple instead of these two what i can write this is 3.2 ohms because i have to add now you see this 3.2 ohms this 11 ohms this 7 ohms three are connected in parallel all three are connected in parallel right simple right so what i have what i have to do now so 1 by rp which is equal to what 1 by 3.2 plus 1 by 11 plus 1 by 7 fine all three i have, I have written like this so what is this rp this rp i am getting it as 1.8304 ohms 1.8304 ohms and what is this actually these three were solved as a single resistor that is nothing but 1.3 uh, now i can draw the diagram simple how i can draw that you have this one and this is one so this is point a and this is point b and what is this resistor this is 1 ohms this is 1.8304 ohms that's all right now you see how these two are connected simple to understand this is connected in series right one end is connected another two end is connected somewhere else if these two are connected then that is parallel no problem i'm not going into that if only one end is connected then what these two are connected in series if it is connected in series then what you will get if these these two are connected in series then what i will get i have to add these two right if i add these two you will get 2.8304 ohms right then 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 this will be single resistor that is nothing but 2.8304 ohms that is point a and point b and now you see we have solved all the resistors into a single resistor that's all and that will be the rab so what is rab rab will be equal to 2.8304 ohms so this is the final value of effective resistance between point a and point b right so this is how you need to simplify the resistors connected in series and parallel combination of series parallel uh, connections are available between point a and point b that is how we have solved this anyhow it is uh, it will be helpful while solving the problems which means we will go for uh, networks theorems where you need to find rth values thevenin's resistance values has to be found and uh, while uh, solving the problems in uh, theorems we need these basics this this basics is very important simple thing if two resistors are connected in series then one end will be connected another another one end will be connected somewhere else in the circuit and if two resistors are connected in parallel then both ends will be connected to each other that's all if you know that one simple procedure then you can solve the problem by yourself right and you try to solve some more problems uh, with this basic knowledge you come up with any questions if you have any questions you please post it in the comment box i will reply for them thank you we will see in the next lecture mm -hmm.